Hey, this is Drew from Quixotic Racing. So right now we're just going to take a look at how to kick freestyle and the proper biomechanics. The next video is going to go over uh, common mistakes that are made. And there are a lot of common mistakes uh, that I make as well, which we'll see. Okay, so we notice that I'm in neutral position. My arms are out in front. My head is down. Okay, so it's a nice high position in the water. The higher your hips are in the water, the faster you will go. Okay, so we're just going to break this down in slow motion. So as I'm coming through, notice, uh, we'll look at my left leg specifically right now. The leg comes up to the surface. Then what's going to happen is I'm going to bend at the hip. So we're looking at the hip right now. And my upper leg is going to come down a little bit. It's going to bend at the knee. Okay. So now my hip, my upper leg has come down just a little bit. I'm bending at the knee, and then next I'm going to follow through with the foot. And as that foot, yeah, comes all the way down, straightens out, and right at the point where my leg is locked, my knee is locked, that's when I'm going to start lifting the whole leg up. And what I try and focus on is I try and think of the back of my knee. I'm going to try and lift the back of my knee up to the surface. Because if I just focus on bringing my foot up to the surface, the kick ends up just happening from the knee down. And you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to lift from the back of my knee up to the surface. Once it gets right next to the surface, that's when I bring the heel up out of the water. Okay, And what I'll end up doing is I'll bring my heel and some of my foot right up to the surface. I'll try not to bring the whole foot out of the water where there's space in between the uh, between the foot and the water. I'll try and keep the foot connected to the water the whole time and we can go into that in further detail later. So right now we see that leg is coming down and it's extending and as soon as it's done extending I start lifting the whole leg back up. And I've been really working on keeping my ankles flat when I kick because anything that's going to be, you know, right here we have a nice straight angle and that's a full extension. On the way back, I, uh, I don't keep that as much and it slows me down a lot. So each one, think of extending, extending, and we'll watch me come back. So there's a good example. Right there, if we look at the angle of my foot, that's a lot, that's an extreme angle. Because you gotta remember, your body is going that way. And if you're going that way, that means the water is going this way. And it's gonna hit your ankle, or hit my ankle, and then go down that way. That's not good. If that angle gets any more extreme, it will actually send the water back that way and you will go backwards. So again, keep those ankles flat. Okay, so now we're going to touch into mistakes, common mistakes. So here, kicking, 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 kicking. And if you notice, now I'm starting to bend my ankle a lot. So if you look here, we have almost a 90 degree angle going on from the leg to the foot. So we'll do this in slow motion so we can see it. And this will actually slow me down and potentially, if it's bad enough, it can send you backwards. So we see I start coming back now. So the main reasons why this is happening, we look the angle of my leg, it's really low in the water, and then now look at the angle of my foot. Okay. And you see how low the feet go? So that's just from not pointing as much as you should. So then now I'll flatten them out, move forward again, and then I'll come back doing the same thing. It's another example of a very good kick in the background. I taught her that. So here again, 
This is called dorsiflexion, where you're flexing at the ankle too much. You can see all those air bubbles. It's just inefficient. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so to avoid that, flatten out the angles. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me or check out quixoticracing.com for free workouts and free training tips. Hope you enjoyed this and visit the Quixotic Racing 777 channel for more videos.